So fair warning first and foremost in this video. Uh, we are most definitely going to be testing this hero tomorrow on a full free to play account and actually our free to play series. We're gonna force her and see what she's like in the early game because one thing we have noticed her paired with Cessia is really good but it's got that big old clause of Mythic Plus being the big buff. Who would have thought Mythic Plus was what made her even more overpowered? Like every hero in the game. So, uh, you guys are going to see some of the summons here. One of the most noteworthy things here is, remember I did that one summon on the Vala banner. The one summon did carry over, so Pity carries over from banner to banner, which is really awesome. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. We have the summons, we have her built up, and then I'm going to show you guys some testing in PvE, PvE to show you how her abilities work, and then some PvP combos that are pretty fun. But don't worry, there is free-to-play stuff coming, so don't worry about that. So first and foremost, now that this banner is out, there's one really good bit of news, and that is that one summon I did on the Vala banner did seem to carry over to the Floribel. So that's awesome. If you're summoning, 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 and then somewhere in the middle, uh, you're like, yeah, no, I guess I, I kind of just want to wait and not summon any more of this hero. The good news is pity or the the pity timer does carry over to the next banner beyond that it looks like we have this hero for 24 days which is like three and a half weeks so my guess is the banner stops halfway through the week and then three or four days later when the day or the weeklies reset that's when we get the new hero so that's kind of a good confidence thing that we're getting basically one hero a month and not like every two weeks i think that's always everybody's fear is too many heroes too quickly so uh, let's get these summons going here. We have 167 plus 30,000 diamonds. Technically, this is only like six and a half copies. So we're going to have to get some early. We're going to have to get some early pity timers here. If we don't, this is going to be really, really bad. And beyond that, we also have to remember that our A tiers are really, really going to suck on this banner. Oh, this is the worst part about doing this is you're only going to get like one A tier every single pull versus like three to four most of the times. M7, MD28, what's up, man? Hopefully we can get some luck here. Honestly, I just need to see that gold beam early. <laughs> I really do. If it goes to pity, oh, we're going to be in trouble. We are going to be in so much trouble. Come on, man. This is the guaranteed right here. All right. So let's see the animation. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, Floribel with her little minion army. Actually, that's a really cool shot. I need to take a screenshot of that. That is one thing they do awesome is the artwork. I absolutely love the artwork, man. Okay, so we got one, but again, that was at pity. So fingers crossed we can hit a copy early. Yes. Oh, back to back summons. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. So now we just need to hit one more copy early and we're going to be in a good spot. No, I don't want to skip animations. All right. One more copy early. If we can get one more early, we guarantee all eight. All right. That's an A there. That's fine. Come on, please. Pretty, pretty, please. I don't want to cut this close. Ooh. It's weird when two A's is a high roll, right? Too merrily. Ooh, we're going to get her up to Supreme Plus pretty soon. Who is next? Come on. All right. So this one's going to Pity Timer, sadly. We got a Coco copy, which we still need like 15 of her. So yes, thank you. This is the Pity right here. Okay, so we got her. Oh, wait, she's a warrior? Hmm. I mean, this, this is a little tempting. It's a little tempting. <laughs> Let's keep going. We need to get four more copies, I believe, at this point to get her maxed out. And yeah, after that, we're just going to save whatever we can for a future banner. Nothing there. Come on. Come on. We can do this. Oh, Damien. I need Damien copies, so at least that's good. It's just, man, the A rates on these are just horrible. You do get just like pure food on these, pure acorns. And then this is going to be the pity. Which, yep, there we go. All right, so we got that copy there. Has anybody ever gotten, like, a double pull on this banner? I feel like this banner is, like, one of the worst out there. No, I don't want to skip animations. Keep going. Come on. 
Give us something good. Pity again, I bet. Well, I mean, it was nice to get that one, like, on the first 10 summon. That was really, really good. But everything else is going straight to pity. Oh! Time to edit heroes. Nice. So it looks like we can go for another hero, which I guess... We'll go to here. And keep summoning. So, yeah, sounds like Merrily is completely done now. We got a double. We actually have to go actually check and see how many copies that is. Oh, that is perfect. That is perfect. Yes, yes, yes. All right. So how many copies is that then? Because we don't need more than eight. <laughs> if we get more than eight, that is a bit wasted. Uh, so let's do a couple of things here. Supreme Plus. There we go. Good, good, good. That's awesome. Uh, here she is. Nope, nope, that's Parisa. We do have some upgrades, so we might as well get them done while we are here. There she is, down the bottom. So, looks like we have seven copies total, so we need one more, I think. There we go. And then I think what we're going to do is just bank the rest of our resources up. Mythic, and we got Mythic Plus, which then we can go to Supreme, and then we're going to go Supreme Plus on her. Ooh, just enough acorns. We have like 100 extra. Good thing I did not misuse those things. All right, so let's jump back in here, and what was this? Anything good? It's probably just the, uh, yeah, that's fine. And then one more hero copy. So we got 40. I think we're going to use every invite letter we have at this point, is what it seems like. Oh, we got another Parisa. What are we at? 22 left. Come on. Let's let's just use these and let, let us save our diamonds up. Just let me save these diamonds. No. All right. Come on. Come on. We got one more 10 pull. Otherwise, we have to dip into the diamond fund. Ah. Oh. So we got a double and we did get one early. So I guess that's not too bad overall. It's decent to say the least. So at least uh, at least here we got her up. So yeah, we can save about 30,000 diamonds. And in the meantime, she's going all the way up to Supreme Plus. And we're going to unlock everything on her and test her out. Okay, so let's just try plugging and playing her. And I'm going to drop off, actually. I'm not going to drop the typical hero that we have, which is Smokey for healing. And let's just throw her in instead. So the big thing here is, I'm sad to say it, but for her to be like really good with other summoners, she does need her Mythic Plus, which is a little disappointing. I was hoping it was going to be like power or something, but... Let's see what this actually looks like. I want to slow it down and see what this is actually doing. So she does summon this little one immediately into the battlefield, which she's doing a little damage. She then summons the archer to the back. And when she does use her ultimate, if both of them are on the battlefield, they're going to do this combo where they jump. She summons that one out there. Oh, I see. So the first time she does it, she summons the third one out there. If then... If then she has it, oh man. So if all three of them are out like for the second time you use the ultimate, that's when the big smash happens where you see the combo come together. Where they all run to each other's side and... Yeah, I'm actually... I'm intrigued to just see how this works. I want just like one damage dealer on this team just so we can try to see her get her ultimate off twice. So the first one kind of thumps back line and you can see there that unit is now in the back line. So we have three summons out right now and she's about to get to it again, which means she's going to do the big combo attack, I think. Yeah, see they jump together and then boom, huge damage on the battlefield. Holy cow. So this is a lot like Damien where Damien has the chariot. If he uses his ultimate when the chariot's not out, it just resummons one. Uh, if the chariot's already out, that chariot runs to, or like basically drives to the enemy, explodes. And that's just an absolute ton of damage. So one thing I want to show you guys, since I did a couple testings before the stream was working properly, 
we're gonna do some pvp hits i want to try to find someone that's pretty close in power level uh june looks like it so because she's a warrior using her as the swap target is actually kind of good uh and what i want to swap i think is i want to swap I want to swap right here, I think. I think I want to do this. Um, but not my Carolina. I want to swap her over. So. Because uh, that's a weird swap. Whew. So. She's very, very strong from what I've seen. And again, in PvP, in tandem with cessia she might be strong the fact that she's a warrior means sending her over is actually kind of good because she's extremely extremely tanky beyond that uh and then when she does finally some look at that look at mr carlisle right there he's got that big shield and he just can like annihilate everything in sight of course our, the cessia died but we still have all these sprites up which protect her and then boom Big damage. So, you guys ready to see the end screen here? <laughs> I love using Ryanir with her. Um, yeah. <laughs> look at, look at, look at, uh, Carolina. Yeah, it doesn't compete. Tons of damage in PvP as well, which I was not expecting her to be crazy good in PvP, but her ultimate does have that, like, knock up type ability and everything. So, uh, pretty solid another thing she doesn't really care about vala as much i am gonna go ahead and do this swap right here i think that's good uh so yeah let's grab the cessia and hopefully nuke down the cessia pretty quickly you'll notice the spear wielder instantly starts attacking too because a spear wielder the uh, the little sprite comes out immediately so you do the swap and there's already somebody on that target that's taking more damage from reinier and this just gets a little nuts to be honest and then look at the power. Look at that. Look at the overgrowth on Mr. Carlisle. It's insane. The combination of those two heroes. And still, Cessia just completely falls behind. And yeah, the only thing I'm confused about with her is this part right here. We've got her EX5. We got her EX10. But EX15 literally says the same verbiage as EX5 saying that boost the shield granted by the skill to 330% of her attack, boost the shield granted by the skill to 330% of her attack. Again, I don't know if that's supposed to be like that unless it doubles it up, meaning they get a 660% shield. And that would be kind of crazy because the shield already feels really strong. So let me know what you guys think about the hero's first impressions. We're going to do more testing here later today to see exactly how she works out. It's really cool that she's a warrior because that means swapping her with a Rhaenyra is actually a really cool strategy because she can survive and she leaves that little sprite behind to start jabbing away at the hero that was swapped in. So that's really cool. And again, we are going to have some free-to-play stuff tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. It's going to be our first episode of a free-to-play series where we basically main her and Cessia and Coco and see what that can do. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.